right, boys, you guys ready to make this DC superhero tier list or what? So what are we basing these characters off of? Are we ranking them based on their movies or manga? I don't get it. Holy shit, this motherfucker really just said manga. I'm going to let that one slide for now, Joe. This list isn't going to be based on any specific interpretation of the superhero. We're just going to rank the superheroes in general, I guess. I guess we're just doing Justice League characters. Fuck the rest of the DC universe, I guess. Huh, Barack? If I did other DC characters, this list would go on forever. So yes, we're only ranking Justice League superheroes. Let's just get started. Okay, so Superman, I think, is an easy goaded tier. One of the most- Superman unique. is an easy dog shit tier. What the fuck are you talking about? Is Superman from that Sky High movie from Disney? Didn't know an opinion could be wrong until I met Donald. How the fuck is Superman dog shit tier? Overrated, overpowered, just a lousy boy. Scout has no character whatsoever beyond that. Yeah, no Superman is going in goaded tier, Donald. That is one of the shittiest takes I've heard all year. Superman has a lot more character than what you just said. Whatever, you're both nut-hugging fucks. Let's keep it pushing. I didn't even say anything. Next is Aquaman. Personally, I think Aquaman is good. I never particularly found him interesting, but he's not a bad superhero. I would put him as just good. Arthur leads a whole kingdom underwater full of only Atlanteans. He's at least a great tier in my book. Sleepy Joe, what do you think? What anime is he from? I'm not familiar with any of these characters. God damn it, Joe, this isn't anime. They're just superheroes. Do you seriously not know who any of these characters are? Sorry, guys. I'm too busy being president to know who these lames are, unlike you virgins. Joe, you're a shriveled up ball sack who's going to die any day now. Okay, what about the next one? You have to know about this guy. Is he from my hero academia? Please kick him, Brock. Just let him stay. Fuck it. Anyway, Batman is easily goaded tier, a bit overused and overrated at times, sure, but I just can't put him any lower. For once, I agree with your dumbass. Unlike Superman, Batman deserves the spot, used his small loans granted to him to make something of himself. I can respect a man like that. Reminds me of myself, actually. I don't know, Donald. That guy looks like he has seen a gym before, unlike you. Oh, fuck you, Sleepy Joe. You're only here because Brock is allowing you to. Okay, can we move on, please? The Flash, great superhero, really strong superpower, and he has a ton of great villains and stories. I think he's an easy, great tier. Are you fucking kidding me? He's constantly nerfed and constantly fucks the timeline up. He has one of the most overpowered abilities in comic history and somehow still finds a way to lose every time. How the fuck is he in great tier? Can't cap. You bring up some good points, but come on the flash. He's extremely well known and such a lovable character. Fuck it though, I won't argue. Good it is, even though I think he is easily a great tier. I just looked the flash up. He looks really cool, Donald. How did you put this Chad in good tier, but put fucking Shark Boy in great tier? Joe, your input is meaningless here. Let's move on. Okay, Martian Manhunter. I love this guy. Very strong, unique design. An awesome backstory. He has to You're be. kidding you, this alien? Easy dog shit tier to generic design. Boring powers and personality. Donald, what are you fucking on today, my guy? What are his powers? He can do a lot of things. He can shapeshift, fly, super strength. He's a telepath and so on. Can he shapeshift into Catwoman? Yes, he can. Easy goaded tier. I'm not going to say he's goaded, but a great character for sure. Whatever, who is next? Wonder Woman? Goaded. Joe, do you know who Wonder Woman is? Fuck yes, I do. Right, okay, now let's move on with Cyborg. Personally, I just think he's all right. Donnie, what do you think? You know what I call Cyborg? A goddamn plot device. They need to teleport somewhere, uses boom tube abilities. Do they need to hack some shit, uses computer power shit, or whatever the fuck it is? I'm not going to say he's mid, because despite all of that, he can still be a fun character like when he's with the Titans, but he's a good character at best. Can he delete browser history? Joe, shut up. I, I can agree with that, Donald. Okay, next up we have Green Lantern. Easy, great tier, great story, and great character. What do you guys think? Absolute dog shit tier. The whole alien ring system and the stupid ass planet they train on is a snooze fest of an origin. Sure, they can construct things on whatever they can think of, but just a boring ass idea. Lanterns are just death fodder. Why don't you go construct some bitches, Donald? Donald, you're fucking stupid. Great tier. End of discussion. Okay, moving on. We got Green Arrow. I love Oliver. He's funny. Badass. Man. Are you fucking kidding me? He might be worse than Superman and the alien booger face. Green Arrow is a goddamn failure of a character. Let me guess, you only hate him because of his political views. Just move the fuck on, Brock. Put him in great tier, Brock. I just looked him up and I saw the girl whose cheeks is clapping. Yep, that brings us to our next character, Black Canary. Easy go to tier. What's her power? 
She has a sonic scream. Her yell pretty much damages anything in her path. Sounds like a power Donald would have. Fuck you, you fucking walking old wrinkly bitch. Put her in great tier and let's move the fuck on. Okay, next up we got Shazam. Before you ask Joe, this superhero is actually a little kid that transforms into this amazing superhero when he says Shazam, giving him lightning powers on top of some other overpowered stuff. Do you guys think that Sky High and My Hero Academia take place in the same universe? Joe, are you high today? What the fuck are you talking about? You're starting to scare me. Anyway, Shazam can be in great tier, a pretty unique origin if I do say so myself. Sure, I'm fine with great tier. Next up, we got Zatanna. Easy go to tier, my God, what a betty. Not goaded, but I would put her in great tier, sure. She isn't as amazing as Constantine as a magic user, but she's a close second. Can she make Donald's bullshit disappear? And last but not least, we got Hawkgirl. Personally, I don't really like her. She seems to get shafted most of the time. Not dog shit or anything, but not great either. I'd put her in good tier. She's an alien, right? She's easily a dog shit tier level character. My God, nothing good about her and her powers and origins are so stupid. My God, she's an easy go to tier. Not dog shit. I am putting her in good tier. Okay, I don't even know what the fuck this list is, but I guess we can say that there's no dog shit DC character, at least from this list. They all have something about them, I feel, that makes them stand out. If it were up to me, there would be like four dog shit level characters, but fuck it. You guys never listen to the gold that comes out of my mouth. Anyway, Joe, trying to play some Gotham City imposters? Guys, I've been looking up Wonder Woman stuff since we started, and one of her weaknesses is bondage. Did you guys know that? That was a weakness she had a long time ago. She doesn't have that weakness anymore. That's some goddamn bullshit. I'm actually going to get off. Joe, get help. Want to play Smash or pass DC Edition Barack?